learning objectives. By the end of this topic, you will be able to Explain about CPU Illustrate the components of CPU Interpret motherboard and its types List the types of monitors and printers Summarize buttons and ports on a computer Show how to start and shut down a computer CPU The acronym CPU stands for Central Processing Unit It is more commonly known as processor or microprocessor for the reason that it is responsible for all functions and processes. Usually it is called the brain of a computer. A CPU comprises thin layers of thousands of transistors. Transistors are located on a very thin slice of silicon. A set of inputs are received by each transistor and it produces the output. Transistors play a vital role in the functioning of CPU. They enable the computer to count and perform logical operations, which is called processing. It processes the instructions that it collects by deciphering the code in the programs. Two types of storage are used in computers. They are primary storage, secondary storage. Generally, the CPU interacts with primary storage. Primary storage device. In general, primary storage refers to random access memory RAM. The operating system resides in the main memory or primary memory. A primary storage device is a component in your computer that stores information for a short period of time. It is also known as main storage, main memory or internal memory. Secondary storage device the computer's internal hard drive is usually referred to as secondary storage. Secondary storage device is any non-volatile medium and is an external memory storage medium. It is the storage medium that holds information until it is deleted or overwritten. Example, a floppy disk drive and a hard disk drive. Computer storage Computer storage is measured in bit bytes, kilobytes, KB, megabytes, MB, gigabytes, GB, and increasingly terabytes, TB. Bit is a basic unit of information represented by ones and zeros, that is binary digits. Byte is comprised of eight bits, which are grouped together to represent a character, alphabetical letters, numbers, and pronunciation symbols. 256 different combinations. Technically, a kilobyte is equal to 1024 bytes. Megabyte equal to 1024 kilobytes. Gigabyte equal to 1024 megabytes. Terabyte equal to 1024 gigabytes. Storage capacities and file sizes are measured from the lowest to the highest in the main internal backing store is a computer's hard disk. Hard disk stores the operating system, software applications or programs, the majority of your data files. The hard disk. Hard disks spin at very high speeds around 7200 RPM revolutions per minute within a sealed unit inside the computer. Hard disks store large amount of data. 200 GB to 1 TB is common in desktop computers. The data stored on a hard disk is retained until it is deleted, but it needs to be loaded into the main store RAM before it can be used. Memory A memory in the computer is used to store the data and instructions. The data in the memory is stored in digital format. Computer memory is the storage space where data is to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored. The three types of memory are catchy memory, primary memory or main memory, secondary memory. Click each tab to know more. Catchy memory Catchy memory is a type of memory used to hold frequently used data. Catchy memory is relatively small but very fast. 
Most web browsers use Akachi to load regularly viewed web pages fast. The most important type of cache memory is the CPU cache. Primary memory or main memory. Primary memory also called as volatile memory because the memory can't store the data permanently. Primary memory selects any part of the memory when user wants to save the data in memory but that may not be stored permanently on that location. Secondary memory. Secondary memory is external and permanent memory that is useful to store the external storage media such as floppy disks, magnetic disks, magnetic tapes and etc. catchy devices. Main Components of CPU In performing various functions, the main components of CPU are much helpful. The CPU components work together and their making or manufacturing finds out the difficulty of operations as well as how fast they can be carried out. CPU itself has the following three components. Memory or Storage Unit Control Unit ALU Arithmetic Logic Unit Main Components of CPU Memory or Storage Unit Control Unit ALU Arithmetic Logic Unit Click each component of CPU tab to learn more. Memory Unit MU Memory Unit is also known as Internal Storage Unit or Main Memory or Primary Storage or Random Access Memory RAM. Instructions, data and intermediate results can be stored by the memory unit. To the other units of the computer, the information is provided by the memory unit whenever necessary. Its size affects the computer speed, power and capability. The two types of memory present in the computer are primary memory and secondary memory. Functions of the memory unit are It stores all the data and the instructions that are required for processing. It stores the intermediate results obtained from processing the input data. It stores the final output before it is transferred to an output device. By means of the main memory, all inputs and outputs are transmitted. Control Unit CU All the computer component operations are controlled by this unit. However, it does not carry out any data processing operation. The functions of control unit are Among all the other units of a computer, the control unit is responsible for controlling the transfer of data and instructions. The functioning of all the units of the computer is managed and coordinated. From the memory, it receives the instructions, understands them and directs the process of the computer. For transfer of data, it interconnects with input or output devices. It does not process or store data. Arithmetic Logic Unit ALU It contains two segments. They are Arithmetic Section Logic Section Arithmetic Section The purpose of this section is to execute the arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. By making recurring use of the above operations, all the complicated operations are accomplished. Logic Section the purpose of this section is to execute logic operations such as comparing, selecting, matching and merging of data. Random Access Memory The primary storage is referred to as Random Access Memory RAM due to the random selection of memory locations. It performs both read and write operations on memory. If power failure occurs in the system during memory access, then you will lose your data permanently. So RAM is volatile memory. RAM is categorized into following types. Static RAM, SRAM. It retains data bits in its memory as long as power is being supplied. 
Static RAM provides faster access to data and is more expensive than DRAM. SRAM is used for a computer's catchy memory and as part of the random access memory digital to analog converter on a video card. Dynamic RAM DRAM DRAM stores each bit of data or program code in a storage cell consisting of a capacitor and a transistor. A DRAM storage cell is dynamic. It needs to be refreshed or given a new electronic charge every few milliseconds to compensate for charge leaks from the capacitor. Read-only memory ROM is built-in computer memory containing data that normally can only be read, not written to. ROM contains the programming that allows your computer to be booted up or regenerated each time you turn it on. Unlike a computer's random access memory, RAM, the data in ROM is not lost when the computer power is turned off. The ROM is sustained by a small long-life battery in your computer. ROM chips are not only used in the computer, but also in other electronic items like washing machine and microwave oven. The various types of ROM are MROM, PROM, EEPROM, EEPROM. Click each tab to know more. MROM MROM is a masked ROM. A MROM is a hardwired device which contains a pre-programmed set of data or instructions. PROM PROM is a programmable read-only memory. A PROM is a memory chip on which you can store a program. But once the PROM has been used, you cannot wipe it clean and use it to store something else. Like ROMs, PROMs are non-volatile. EEPROM EEPROM is an erasable and programmable read-only memory. An EEPROM is a special type of PROM that can be erased by exposing it to ultraviolet light. EEPROM EEPROM is an electrically erasable and programmable read-only memory. An EEPROM is a special type of PROM that can be erased by exposing it to an electrical charge. Both erasing and programming take about 4 to 10 milliseconds. Any location can be selectively erased and programmed in EEPROM. Motherboard the motherboard is the heart of a computer. In the computer, it is the main printed circuit board. The electronic components of the system such as the central processing unit and memory are owned by the motherboard. For the other important peripherals, it also provides the connectors. A number of subsystems and the other components are contained by the motherboard. The main reason for which a motherboard is used in a computer is to hold the important electronic components of the system and provides a link between the other internal parts of the system. Characteristics of motherboard The following are the characteristics of a motherboard. Motherboards vary greatly in terms of how the various components are organized. In general, a single type of CPU and a few types of memories are supported by the motherboard. To function properly, video cards, hard disks, sound cards have to be compatible with the motherboard. To work properly, motherboards, cases and power supplies must all be compatible with each other. Up to now, there are four types of motherboards. They are XT, AT, Baby AT, ATX. Click each motherboard tab to learn more. XT Motherboards. The acronym XT stands for Extended Technology. These are all old model motherboards. Old model processor socket LIF, low insertion force sockets, RAM slots, DIMMs and ISA, industry standards architecture slots, can be found in this type of motherboards and there will also be a 12-pin power connector or no ports. They have slot type processors, DIMMs, memory modules, ISA slots for add-on cards and no ports. 
There are connectors and add-on cords for ports. Example, Pentium 1, Pentium MMX and Pentium 2 processors. 80 Motherboards The acronym 80 stands for Advanced Technology. The components such as PZA, Pin Grid Array Socket, SD RAM Slots, 20 Pin Power Connector PCA Slots and ISA Slots can be found on 80 motherboards. Example, Pentium 3 Processors. Baby 80 Motherboards The combination of XT and 80 forms the Baby 80 Motherboards. Slot type processor sockets and PGA processor sockets, SD RAM slots and DDR RAM slots, PCI slots and ISA slots, 12 pin power connector and 20 pin power connector and ports are contained in both the processors. Example Pentium 3 and Pentium 4 processors. ATX Motherboards The acronym ATX stands for Advanced Technology Extended. The latest motherboards are designed by ATX form factor. For this reason, all the latest motherboards all are called ATX motherboards. MPGA processor sockets, DDR RAM slots, PCI slots, AGP slots, primary and secondary IDE interfaces, SATA connectors, 20-pin and 24-pin ATX power connector and ports are found in these motherboards. Example, Pentium 4, Dual Core, Core to Duo, Quad Core, i3, i5, and i7 processors. Types of Monitors One of the most important parts of a computer is a monitor. The system can't work without the monitor. The computer screen is called the monitor. It looks like a TV screen. It shows the output information and is a standard output device. The monitor is also known as VDU, that is Visual Display Unit. Monitors are of three types. They are CRT monitors, LCD monitors, LED monitors. Click each monitor tab to learn more. CRT monitors. The acronym CRT stands for Cathode Ray Tube. A CRT monitor is an old style of TV set or computer monitor. Heavyweight, occupy more place, high power consumption, high radiation and support, low resolution are the limitations of CRT monitors. These are all the main reasons for preferring LCD or LED monitors. LED monitors The acronym LED stands for light emitting diode. There is not much difference between LCD and LED monitors. But when compared to LCD, LED monitors exhibit a higher picture quality. So nowadays, almost everyone prefers LED monitors. LCD monitors The acronym LCD stands for Liquid Crystal Display. Lightweight, occupy less place, 12 volts power consumption, low radiation and support high resolutions are the main advantages of LCDs. So let us do an activity on match the following. Select a suitable answer from group B for group A and drop it in the bracket provided against A. Types of printers. From the computer, a printer takes data and produces output in the form of graphics or test on a paper. It is an external output device. There are two types of printers. Impact printers, non-impact printers. Impact printers, dot matrix printers, daisy wheel printers, line printers, drum printers, chain printers, band printers. Non-impact printers, inkjet printers, laser printers. 
Impact printers are the oldest printing technologies still in active production. The three most common forms of impact printers are dot matrix, daisy wheel and line printers. Impact printers have a relatively low consumable cost. The primary recurring costs for impact printers are ink ribbons and paper. A few impact printers need tractor fed paper which can increase the costs of operation to some extent. Non-impact printers include laser printers and inkjet printers. The important difference between impact and non-impact printers is that impact printers are noisier. Drag and drop the following impact printers into the appropriate boxes. Hardware Computer hardware is the collection of physical parts of a computer system. Computer hardware is what you can physically touch. Examples of hardware are following. Input devices, keyboard, mouse, etc. Output devices, printer, monitor, etc. Secondary storage devices, hard disk, CD, DVD, etc. Internal components, CPU, motherboard, RAM, etc. Software Software means computer instructions or data. Anything that can be stored electronically is software. Storage devices and display devices are called hardware. Software is often divided into two categories. System software, application software. Click each tab to know more. System software System software includes the operating system and all the utilities that enable the computer to function. Example, Windows, Linux, Mac, Unix, etc. Some more examples of system software are compilers, interpreter, assemblers, etc. Application software Application software includes programs that do real work for users. We need to install application software separately on computer to perform any task. Examples of application software are MS Office, Adobe Photoshop, web browsers, etc. Relationship between hardware and software In order for a computer to produce useful output, its hardware and software must work together. Nothing useful can be done with the computer hardware on its own and software can't be utilized without the support of hardware. So there is a close connection between software and hardware. Both hardware and software are necessary for a computer to do useful job. Both are complementary to each other. Same hardware can be loaded with different softwares to make a computer perform different types of jobs. Except for upgrades, hardware is normally a one-time expense, whereas software is a continuing expense. Number system A set of values used to represent different quantities is known as number system. The digital computer represents all kinds of data and information in binary numbers. It includes audio, graphics, video, text and numbers. The total number of digits used in a number system is called its base or radix. Some important number systems are as follows. Decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system, hexadecimal number system. Click each tab to know more. Decimal number system. Decimal number system has only 10 digits from 0 to 9. In this number system, every number or value represents with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. The base of decimal number system is 10 because it has only 10 digits. 
Binary Number System A binary number system has only two digits that are 0 and 1. In this number system, every number or value represents with 0 and 1. The base of binary number system is 2 because it has only two digits. Octal Number System Octal number system has only eight digits from 0 to 7. In this number system, every number or value represents with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The base of octal number system is 8 because it has only 8 digits. Hexadecimal number system A hexadecimal number system has 16 alphanumeric values from 0 to 9 and A to F. In this number system, every number or value represents with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E and F. The base of hexadecimal number system is 16 because it has 16 alphanumeric values. Here A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 14, E is 15 and F is 16. Embedded Computer Systems An embedded system is a special purpose system. Its main purpose is to control the devices and so it is called microcontroller. Embedded system is a single chip system that contains all the elements that are essential for any computer that is RAM, ROM, CPU, input, output, clock. Examples of embedded computer includes telephones, televisions, cameras and washing machines. Buttons and ports on a computer. Different computers have different types of buttons, slots and sockets. Nevertheless, there are some specific features that the user can expect to find on most desktop computers. Having a knowledge of the names of each and how they are commonly used will help you later on when you connect a new printer, mouse, digital camera or any other device. Front of computer case Optical disk drive It is also called a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM drive. Generally used to read CDs and DVDs. Mainly these optical disk drives are used to write data to CD-R and DVD-R disks. The latest devices can read Blu-ray discs and write to BDR, Blu-ray disc recordable discs. 25 gigabytes of data can be held by a usual Blu-ray disc and some can hold 50 gigabytes or more, which is more than that of CDs or DVDs. Power button To power the computer on and off, the power button is used. Moreover, on some computers, the power button is used to place the computer in different energy-saving modes like hibernate, sleep and standby. Audio in or audio out Usually, the audio ports are included in front of the computer case. It allows us to connect speakers, microphones and headsets. USB Universal Serial Bus Port Newer computers typically have multiple USB ports and can be used to connect to any type of device as well as mic, keyboards, printers and digital cameras usually happen to be seen on the front and back of the computer. Back of computer case At the back of the computer case, there are some connection ports which are made to fit specific devices. These ports can be arranged differently for different computers and many companies have their own special connectors for certain devices. Different colors are used for the ports to make it easier for us to detect which port is used with a particular device. Power socket. Here the power cord is connected to the computer. Audio in, audio out. Newer computers generally have two or more audio ports in which various devices can be connected including speakers, microphones and headsets. Ethernet port 
modem or telephone port and the Ethernet port are quite similar but the only difference is that the Ethernet port is somewhat wider. This port can be used for networking and connecting to the Internet. USB ports Most of the USB ports are on the back of the computer case. Most of the users will connect mouse and keyboard to these ports and keep the front USB port free so that they can be used for digital cameras and other devices. Monitor Port Monitor cable is connected here. Here you can see that computer has both a display port and a VGA port. Other computers may have other types of monitor ports like DVI, Digital Visual Interface or HDMI. High Definition Multimedia Interface Serial Port This is used to connect peripherals like digital cameras in the latest computers. This port is less common because it has been replaced by USB and other types of ports. PS2 For connecting the mouse and the keyboard, these ports are occasionally used. Usually, the mouse port is green and the keyboard port is purple. In the latest computers, these ports have been replaced by the USB. Expansion Slots From here, expansion cords are added to the computers. For instance, if your computer does not have a separate video cord, you can buy one and install it here. Parallel Port or Printer Port In the latest computers, this port is less common because it has been replaced by the USB and other types of ports similar to the serial port. How to attach a USB drive to your computer? Power on your device and your computer. Attach the USB cord to the drive if applicable. Plug the USB cord into your computer's USB port. After connecting the USB drive, the screen will be displayed as shown below. Click on Open Folder to view files. After that, you can copy, cut or paste the files from the USB to computer or from computer to USB. Disconnect the USB drive when done. How to connect a memory card to a computer? Get a memory card reader. Connect the card reader to your computer. Plug in your memory card into the card reader. Use your computer to transfer files. Disconnect your memory card. Summary Let's summarize the topic. The acronym CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It is called the brain of a computer. The operating system resides in the main memory or primary memory. A primary storage device is a component in your computer that stores information for a short period of time. A secondary storage device is any non-volatile medium and is an external memory storage device. The purpose of the arithmetic section is to execute the arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. The motherboard is the heart of a computer. The acronym XT stands for Extended Technology. The acronym AT stands for Advanced Technology. The combination of XT and AT forms the baby AT motherboards. The acronym ATX stands for Advanced Technology Extended. The computer screen is called the monitor. It shows the output information and is a standard output device. A CRT or cathode ray tube monitor is an old style of TV set or computer monitor. Lightweight occupy less place, 12 volts power consumption, low radiation and support high resolution are the main advantages of LCDs. There are two types of printers. They are impact printers and non-impact printers. Different computers have different types of buttons, slots and sockets. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test.